This is the crayfish. It's very aggressive. It's a freshwater crustacean related to the lobster. There are two species of crayfish in the UK. There's the, uh, the signal crayfish, which is one of these, and the white clawed crayfish, which is native. Now, the signal crayfish was introduced into the UK in 1976 from North America. Unfortunately for our native species, this is a carrier of the crayfish plague, which is a fungal parasite. This is immune to the fungal plague, and unfortunately ours isn't. It's been decimated to such an extent that the native crayfish is now on the IUC red list for threatened creatures. I'm going to show you uh, what to do with a cooked crayfish and some ideas uh, to use them in cooking. There are a variety of crayfish available in the UK. Uh, this particular one was boiled for somewhere between four or five minutes. Uh, when they're live, they're a deep sort of dark brownie colour and there's a heat sensitive pigment in the shell that goes this beautiful colour when they go into boiling water. Once they come out of water, they need to be cooled rapidly and then once they're cold, you can uh, extract them from the shell. First of all, they make a fantastic addition to a seafood platter, but if you want to get the meat out of the shell, well, it's a very simple process. Okay, so I'm going to twist off the tail. Uh, there's a little bit of meat in the claw which you can crack open. And then just take the tail shell, pinch it, and it splits down there, and then just peel that away. And then to gently ease the meat from the actual shell. It's as simple as that. There's a bit of meat in the claws. You can use little lobster crackers to um, take that out if you want. Alternatively, you can break these up a little bit and put them into a really good seafood stock where you fry off some root vegetables, add those, cover them with water, bring it up to the boil and simmer for about 20 minutes. Got a great liquid there for making soup and some risotto. Today, I'm actually going to make uh, a very simple seafood cocktail using these. It's uh, based along the lines of a prawn cocktail. It's a twist of Mary Rose sauce or th Thousand Island dressing. It's mayonnaise and creme fraiche. It's tomato chutney, horseradish, a little bit of anchovy essence if you want to, a little bit of lemon. You could add herbs to it if you want. And all I'm going to do is take my peeled crayfish tails and sit them on top of a chiffonade of lettuce, which is a very, very fine shred of lettuce, pile them on there, and then I'm going to spoon the sauce over the top so they're not completely coated so you get to see a little bit on the top. So very, very retro style first course. And then a spoonful of the dressing over the top, a couple of little dessert spoons there. Spoon that over the top. And then just to finish, just a tiny little sprinkling of a bit of cayenne pepper on both. And then as a garnish, I'm just going to hang, if it works, the crayfish over the edge. A little bit of bread ready for serving. And that's your crayfish cocktail. Mm -hmm.